Hello, Monsters of Anhin, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3. And the second part of my Grudge Bringers campaign. We're playing as Morgan Burnt Hearts and his company of Dogs of War, mercenary bands. We've uh, marched through the Empire, did a, did a little bit of a dueling in the Border Princes, and headed out for the Empire. Picked up some guys along the way, and uh, then we've headed to Bretonia to deal with Kemla. We've got a bit of a, a bit of a fight going on here as Kemla throws, uh, well, quite a lot of stuff our way. Looks like he's throwing four thousand guys at us. Nothing too concerning here. It's mostly skeletons. There's a few hex rays there, but. Unless, unless he uses them to flank our forces and get in, the, get in amongst our missile units, we should be fine. Of course, the flank here, we've got the Carlson's Cavalry and the Grudgebringer Cavalry. Led by Morgan himself. On our left flank, we've got the Militia Boys. And then... Our right flank shored up against this mountain with the Gold Tongues Guards, Spear Boys, and of course, the Grudgebringer Infantry. And of course, we have the, uh, the good old Bright Wizard Luther Flame Strike there. Doing some burning heads. Inflicting burning head upon his enemies. Good stuff. Morgan with the Grudge Bringer can throw out fireballs. I always remember that ability being uh, kind of a double-edged sword. I swear half the time it seemed to incinerate one of your guys rather than the enemy. God knows how that works. Ooh, taking out, taking out a few of those can wraiths. Pretty good. Okay, the militia, thanks to the bonuses that we're giving to our infantry, of course, have their missile missile attacks. And uh, there are actually no slouches in melee combat. With 42 melee attack, 38 melee defense, and 44 weapon strength, they should be fairly effective against those zombies and ghouls. And, of course, we've got the Grudgebringer cannons. Currently racked up 146 kills. It's not bad. Our infantry should be able to deal with pretty much anything thrown against them. By Kemmler, anyway. Another little uh, fireball. Morgan racking up. What's that? 87 kills? Not bad. He's kind of surrounded by doggos and cairn wraiths, though. That's not ideal. Carlson's cavalry retreating from that engagement. The pistoliers rushing to their rescue, trying to knock out those dire wolves before they do too much damage. And actually successfully managing to take them out, which means Carlson's cavalry should rally and return to the fight, which is going to be useful. The Grudgebringer cavalry is currently fighting four enemy units all by themselves, but successfully doing that. They've lost uh, a couple of guys, but for the most part, are dealing with that no problem. So we're getting the shots in the rear there, trying to bring down the can race. Spraying them with... You know, they're not doing too bad. The 36 missile strength probably does help. Carlson's Cavalry coming back around to help out. Morgan should be fine. One hopes. Just need to get the Carlson's Cavalry in there. 45 charge bonus. That should be fine. They actually look really good. They look very, very similar to what they should do. Ken Race getting charged. Morgan fleeing momentarily after being terrified. But he still has quite a chunk of health there, so he should be fine. Just need to help out the Grudgebringer Cavalry. While that's happening, the enemy army is just washing across our lines, but failing to find a chink in our armor. 
Kemler's rushing backwards and forwards. Now trying to dodge all the missile fire directed at him. The Hex Rays did a fair amount of damage against the uh, the Ancient Boar Spearmen, apparently. Mm. They do have some bonus first large, 15 bonus first large, which, you know, considering they've got 33 melee attack and 45 weapon strength, means they do quite, quite a lot of damage. It's quite nice. With the enemy flank disintegrating, Kemmler charges in for some reason. He's, it's not really going to do very much, to be honest. And then he's running away again. And uh, Carlson's cavalry backed up by Morgan, assisting to just finish off that skeleton spearman as Kemmler races in, maybe trying to, I don't know, rally his zombies. But yeah, it, it doesn't work out for him so well. And... Looks like Kemla is going down. Good night, Kemla. Now, I don't know if I want to sack this or restore it. I think I'm going to sack it. I'm going to sack it. And the reason I'm going to sack it is because that's an easy win. And I think I need one, one more. Move. So we've got spell resistance for the entire army. That's quite nice. The enchanted shield. That's Morgan's special thingy magic. We've got the Helmgart Bowman. Who are... Ah, there you are. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, merge you guys. And then we'll get you in here. Are you just neat? The bowman based out of Helmgart Keeper, led by Franz Eriksson. They serve with honor, having once taken part in serving the Emperor's cousin from a bandit ambush. Well, that is uh, a claim to fame. Holy shit. Okay, I will... I'll, I'll get one of these. And then we get Renown and Fear, which will reduce our upkeep, which will be... Super nice. Uh, let's merge you losers. I mean, the dwarves are quite tanky. I get some man eaters. They're also quite tanky. Compa I mean, well, mm, uh, I mean, they're probably better than spearmen, right? They're prob they they probably are better than spearmen. So we'll do that. I mean, burning head is good. Weak, weakness to fire, burning heads. That, that's all good stuff. Um, more money would be good. Oh, you got two skill points. In that case, a master of persuasion. Diplomatic relations with all men. That's right. That's right, men. We're coming for you. Got some sexy things to tell you. More money attack versus the forces of destruction. Blah, 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 blah. Master of the gun. Well, I mean, your gun doesn't actually do any damage. I'm going to get this because I I feel like whapping, whapping a uh, accusation on someone. Pretty, pretty brutal. Right, we can't build that. I could potentially do that. I really want that. Um, so that's only going to give us more leadership and additional upkeep when Empire units recruited. Okay, so that's um, recruited from buildings. When we have the Veteran Paymaster Research. Which is... Ah. There. I mean, it's... Oh, that's that's just. I mean, it's, okay, that building's not not that not that vitally important. I mean, man eaters are very good. What does this do? Cam. Oh, more campaign movement range. Ah, that is quite nice. I mean, weapon strength and armor just for everyone is also pretty pretty good. Um, cause, right, so. 150 is the, is the max amount of extra campaign movement range, right? So you have 10? 10? 15? 15%. You've got 15%. We can get 
More Careful. from... Not you. You. So we can get another 15% to that. So that's 30. So it does make sense to get... To get this. Because the faster we can move, the faster we can get out of trouble. Or more importantly, get into trouble. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna stick with that. What does the Emperor bid? Yeah, and then we'll we'll attack Karak Ziflin again. I think if we if we kill one more you guys army, then we get another regiment of renowns. I need to check that. I need to double check that. We've got a little little contract there. Right, let's just double check this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we need... Where is it? Barrow Legion. Yes. Yes. So, I'm let's... Le right, let's go and do the this first. Alright, that's a horde of gob... Oh, that's not just a horde. That's a, a noble on a diplomatic mission has been kidnapped. They're an incredibly wealthy family and wants blah, blah, blah. Okay, so apparently it is... It is... It is... Chaos Dwarves. Oof, they got bull centaurs. Those guys... Those guys are rough. Alright, well, well, we'll accept it, because it's 6,500 big ones, and uh, God knows I need the cash. Yep, yeah, shop. See, the Chaos Dwarves could potentially have some nasty units, but fortunately it's it's mostly goblin labourers. So not really too much of an issue. They do though have some Kadai Fireborn. They're also pretty bad. And uh they do have some Bull Centaurs, they're pretty good. And some blunderbusses, they're also pretty good. The Kadai, I'm so disappointed. I was really hoping they'd be good. Um, but they're really bad. Because they're demonic. And so they just disintegrate at the drop of a hat. Once they drop below 50% health, you may as well just write that unit off. It's, uh, it's not ideal. And of course, our boys have taken a little bit of damage. Here's the explosive shots. Trying to take out those blunderbusses before they get into range, because, you know, those guys could actually be quite nasty. Although, I must say, I do like the purple. The purple and yellow, very nice. What a colour. Mmm, looking up, looking fly. Obviously, Morgan took quite a bit of damage in that last fight, more than I would have liked, but never mind. What's he got? The feather toe talk. Oh, if anyone if any of you guys are flying. You're not. The Bull Centaurs rampaging into the Grudgebringer infantry and throwing them all over the place, doing quite a lot of damage, as they are wont to do. However, our boys on the left flank smashing through those orc and goblin laborers. Just need to keep an eye on those blunderbusses hitting a burning head. Not doing as much damage as like. And those bull centaurs. Oof, those guys. Those guys are those guys are rough. They could die already below 50% health. Did they, wait, did they change that? Oh, greater than 25% health. They actually reduce the amount. I mean, that, that does kind of make sense, considering. Was it always 25%? Did they change it? I'm sure it was 50%. Either way, once they once they hit that limit, it's basically, you know, good night Vienna for them. Which is a problem, because, you know, if mortal units, if they if they break, what happens? They run away, right? Which means they survive. Any unit which crumbles. And this is particularly true for demons because the undead don't crumble as badly. Demons, as soon as they as soon as they get sad, they they're out of there. They're gone. They're dead, and that means you know you need to re-recruit the fucking things. It's a bloody nightmare. Anyway, Carlson's cavalry running down those goblin laborers. The blunderbusses are fleeing the battlefield as well. Hobgoblin archers getting some shots in, but that's not, you know. To be honest, too little too late at this point, and we're just running down the Sorcerer Prophet 
as uh, en Engrol Goldtongue, Matthias, and the other guy whose name I've forgotten start just piling in. That's it, get him, lads. He's awfully big for a dwarf, isn't he? Is that can he can he be called a dwarf? Is that allowed? Is that legal? Is that a legal definition? I don't know. Either way, he's uh, he, he's out of here. Okay, that's some nice nice extra cash there. I I'm going to take more money, and then what I'm going to do. So we're actually going to head over to Montfort here so that we can uh, fix up our army. Indeed. Alright, can't heal these guys apparently for some reason, but never mind. Indeed. Shadow of the Horned Rats when fighting Skaven. Right, we're not fighting Skaven at the moment, so we're not taking that one. Okay, we do want Renowned and Feared, though, because that upkeep reduction is really going to help me. It's going to help me just stay... stay keep, keep my head above economic water. Hmm. So, let's do something like that. We can sort of head back this way. That seems fine. Let's see if we can do any deals. Protector of the realm. Oh, everyone loves me now. I'm not surprised. I'm a lovely guy. Honor before glory. Sure. The lady grants you safe passage. Yes. Well, t t tell her thanks. Yes. Hello. Welcome, my countrymen. Hi. One, two, three, four. Of course. It's numbers, that is. Luon? The supplicant come forward. Can I... Non aggression? It shall be. Thank you. No evil doer may receive the blessings of the lady. And uh, okay. Um I'm gonna we're gonna wait until you like me slightly more and then I will I will take that. How is everyone doing? Just I mean Sylvania is sort of expanding, so maybe we should come back here at some point. What about Where sort of do do we have nope, the the thingies are still gone. Right, so we still need to win three battles against uh, Greenskins. Some battles against Skaven will be good. Two battles against the Caravan of the Blue Roses. The Broken Axe would give us... Some Knights. Knights of the Realm. I wouldn't be against that. It does mean we need to lure Grom out. But, you know... I reckon we can manage that. After we've roughed up Kembla some more. Uh, do you... What does this do? Hmm. Uh, uh, you, uh, purifier of filth. Yes, definitely. Some lovely filth here. Do, I, I could get baggage. That's more horde growth. Do I need horde growth? I don't know. Also, I've got a camp, haven't I? I should put down a camp. I don't know what a camp does. Missile strength. I, yeah, I don't know how a rifled barrel would really help huntsmen, archers, and crossbowmen. Uh, but then I'm not like a, I'm not a, sh I've d I, I'm not a shooty guy. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe rifling those barrels would help with arrows and crossbow bolts. I don't know. Maybe? Sure, why not? Okay. Oh god, you got two more stacks! Where the bloody yes. hell did they come Sound. from? Alright, well let's go in here. We can obviously bop this quite easily. And restore. And we're going to give this to... Mm, Clan Angrons. God, did you did you want to stop or just keep going? What? Never mind. Right, we've got so we've won five battle against vampire counts. That's given us Elrod's Wood Elf Glade Guards and a Horn of Urgok. Neat. All right. 
And we've also got a Hellfire Sword and Gayled's Elf Archers. So uh, a bunch of elves have joined us, which is nice to see. Uh, let's see. Oh, these guys are... These guys are Spear Boys. These guys are archers. Right, we definitely want them in. So let's get rid of one of the Spear Boys and one of the Shuki Boys. So. There we go. I'm fairly sure the wood, the, the elf spear boys are probably going to be better than the normal spear boys. That's just, that's just my hot take. They do get, when they're in a forest, they get a bonus first large of plus 12. That's all right, isn't it? Now. That's not bad. Right, do we want to, I'm, I'm thinking we maybe try and take out Gisero and, um. Yes, my lord. We march. Sort of give that one back. Men of the Empire. Hello. Brings you here? Well, I just gave you a settlement. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I think we could maybe. What I need is some military alliances so I could actually kind of like get some some other. I don't think we can actually recruit any other armies, but we can build these camps. But if we deploy a camp in a region which we don't have a military alliance with, it does count as trespassing, and uh, that will piss people off. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't entirely know what a camp does. We definitely can't recruit any lords. I don't. I think this is the only army we can have. I will it's the it's a tad dicey, but I do need that replenishment. I, I feel like just getting master of persuasion. Hatred of Greenskins, which is nice, but increased mobility is better. And I guess you can be a master of the gun. So you can do some nice trick shots. Why not? Ooh, some new contracts. What we got? Valeia Sorrow. That's quite far away. Karak Raisiak. That's also quite far away. Hair gig. That is closer. That is closer. Who the fuck? Oh, it's probably Festus, isn't it? We... You know, I'm going to take that because we do kind of like have a... Another objective to go and, to go and take out. I mean, we could go and take this. I'm kind of tempted to, to, to meander in this direction and see if uh, see if Kemmler wants a fight. If he wants a fight, he'll bring both of these stacks to attack us. However, I think we can probably deal with that. I say I think. I th almost certainly we can deal with that. So what does this do? Crafted heavy armor is going to give them... They are, I don't really... I don't think we need that. We'll, we'll, we'll sit here for a turn, see if they decide to throw bar. I mean, do, do we? Do we just go for it? I think we just... Ah, fuck it, we'll just go for it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. What are we going to do? Try and kill me? Fuck them. Fuck a lot of them. Uh, Hellblaster Volley Gun. I mean, I'd be an idiot not to take that. Morgan, once again, just books it in the opposite direction. It is for the best. I'm I'm sorry, Bretonia, but you didn't off me. You didn't off me a hell hell blast of volley gun, did you? So uh, that that's really on you. That's uh, that's a you problem. It costs two two nine. How much do these guys cost? One twenty. Well, it's just a it's just an obvious choice, really, isn't it? That's just an obvious choice. God, we don't get a lot of money for giving settlements back, do we? I will marshal the bed. Bugger all. Uh, right, let's get Quartermaster. Try and offset... The offset Empire. our army costs. So we can constantly make money. Because constantly making money would be... Really quite good. Really quite useful. Yeah. Are these guys at war with Marienburg? Or do I not have to worry about that? Maybe not. God, I've got hot knees. At the moment. So I went out in the sun. Obviously you should wear sun sunscreen which i did i did also don't like to go out in the sun very often but i i was wearing shorts 
and uh, I'd obviously sprayed my legs to make sure. Unfortunately, I was sat down and uh, the knees came into play. Mm hmm. And now I've got hot knees. Got some pseudo creme on them, which is one of the good things about having a child is that you just usually have a. The, the parents in the audience will know this, but you, if you've got a child, you've probably got like a massive vat of pseudo creme somewhere because it's it's basically good for everything. You know, nappy rash, rash, broken arm, doesn't matter. Fucking pseudo creme fixes it. Job done. So uh, I've put so I've got just two two I've got two white knees at the moment, but they're both very hot. So uh, yeah, hot knees, uncomfortable. Do do not you know zero out of ten would not recommend personally that's just me though i don't are these guys actually at war what do they do do they pull back no they're still there hmm. huh. I'll have your soul. well maybe who are you? no hang on who are you at war with the emperor's mewling entreaties are as insufferable as the crime oh, all right shut up okay i genuinely think we can probably just to strengthen the empire just get in here i don't know where that other army's gone maybe they died maybe they've wandered off if we okay let's have a look at the map what we got what we got here hmm. okay yeah i probably want to i'm gonna get a siege tower i'm gonna get a siege tower but i mean this this army's looking pretty nasty it's got some, got some reasonably good, good stuff in there. If I see that other army heading this way, the thing is, I don't know why they would have run away. Wait, is that other army? Oh, fuck! It's there, isn't it? So that army came back. Okay, they might attack me with three stacks, but you know what? I think I'm game. They are indeed attacking me with three stacks. Well, I did say I'm game, and uh, I am. As luck would have it, most of the enemy reinforcements and the enemy army are currently stationed down this canyon. This is good for me because obviously you know, we've got artillery, and we can probably do quite a lot of damage as they advance. They do, however, have some units, like, hidden in the trees over here. I don't think that's because they thought, oh, this will be sneaky. It's because they wanted to create a battle line, but they couldn't because these rocks were in the way. Never mind. Anyway, so we've got, got the Grudgebringer Cavalry and the Carlson's Cavalry on that flank. We've got... I really should have got two Hellblaster volley guns. That would have made me really happy. But that's fine. We've got one. And they shoot a lot of bullets very quickly. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's the stuff. That's the fucking stuff. They're trying to heal themselves up, but, you know. Good luck. Good luck with that. So they're now currently advancing on our position. We've got reinforcements in cut. This is, it's going to be about six. It's going to be over six. I say about 6,000. Over 6,000 enemy uh, troops coming at my poor poultry 1,200. Honestly, we're not paid enough for this shit. We've got Elrod's Glade Guards, and uh, we actually have the... Where is it? There it, there it is. The Paymaster's Wagon. They have, they have missile strength, apparently. They've got crossbows, which is quite neat. And uh, they give a nice little bonus. So we get plus five melee defense and attack for everyone, because obviously, you know, it's it's their pay, right? It's their pay packet. So they want to defend that. Just kind of makes sense. Okay, we're going to have to deal with this little, little contingent flanking force here. More reinforcements pouring in. So we're going to send old Morgan in.
to uh, get their attention. And then once they've got their attention, we're going to send in the cavalry for hopefully a devastating charge. Mind you, these guys really aren't like shock cavalry. They are... These guys probably have the best charge bonus. These guys have only got 36. It's, it's not very good. It's fine. I wanted to get a surround on these guys, but uh, these zombies want to sort of head in, try and get some damage done, throw a fireball at them. That works out quite nicely. Then we charge in the Grudge Bringer Cavalry. And we'll give it a little... Give them some time, and then we'll bring in the Carlson's Cavalry as well. Meanwhile... Enemy infantry has arrived at our lines. Uh, let's have a look. How, how's our artillery doing? We've got 84 kills there. 66 kills there. Not bad. Not as, not as good as I was hoping. As I, look, look at the, just the wave. The wave of enemy units incoming. I'm going to wait until they're all grouped up before I start dropping some spells on them, I think. Okay, how's the flank doing? Well, we've definitely got them locked down. Without any characters to bolster their leadership, they are starting to crumble. And they did very little damage to our cavalry. Yeah, that looks, uh, that's, that's fine. We've managed to sort that little problem out. In the trees, our militia are holding the line for us. Already got a few kills. Okay, we do need to stop these cairn raids from getting in amongst our cannons. Because I need to keep that... I need to keep need to keep piling in the fire. Although, I mean, there's, there's definitely, like, bodies littered everywhere. So it's good. But we're still not killing as many as I would have liked. Uh-oh. That's where I'm going. There's quite a large blob on the flank now. Our cavalry just holding back, but the Carlson's charging in on that flank just to try and help out against these spearmen. I figured, you know, a little, little flanking attack there. We can then pull them back afterwards. Keep the Grudgebringer and uh, Morgan there just in case we need it. Okay, the bats need to be dealt with, so we're going to send in the All-Seeing Atonement Warriors, apparently. Dwarf Warriors will send those guys in and the Lost Tempest Spearmen as well. Grudge bring infantry continue to hold the line. Good boys. Good lads. Uh, more and more reinforcements pouring onto the battlefield. They're now up to 6,287. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a good number. Pulling Carlson's cavalry out of that engagement just so we can push them back in again if we need to. Oh, they're traps. That's why. Never mind. Lovely little burning pillar right in the center of the undead as they advance that is going to chew through quite a lot and a burning head right in the center there which cuts through the enemy line causing horrific damage and then even going into the trees there oh that is that was fantastic work 619 kills yeah i, I think that was I think that was that was pretty good. You know, I'll take that. A lot of the undead also starting to crumble at the same time. We're just helping out the flank there with our cavalry, taking out those crypt ghouls. The center is start just continuing to hold the line. The glade guard there. Holding back the, the zombies. Got a slight issue over here as I think Matthias has died. Probably somewhere around here. He, he did get very low on health. I tried to pull him out, but he then just died. Uh, no, there's Matthias. He's there. He's fine. It's not Matthias. It's the other guy. The, um, the, the gunner guy. That guy. He died. That's the one. At least he died doing what he loved. Being clawed at by horrifying undead monstrosities. Assuming that's what he loved. I'm guessing probably not, but never mind. Another little burning head there. The units on the, uh, on the in the center getting getting absolutely destroyed. Looks like we have the upper hand there. Our cavalry now moving in to get some nice little charges in the rear. This should hopefully start to cause panic. We've even got Krell. Krell's turned up. 
Because, of course, Kemmler summoned him in. We sent uh, Morgan to fight Heinrich. I don't know if that's actually going to work out very well, but we'll see. Carlson's cavalry just coming in to help out the militia in the trees as they've been charged by the Black Knights. A uh, combination of Black Knights and Crypt Horrors, which means they're not doing so hot. So we'll send in the rest of the militia and hopefully get control of that. Another little uh, burning vortexy bollocky thing, whatever that is. Just to help out. Looking at numbers, uh, they have sent almost 7,000 guys at us. 7,000 undead. However, we've cut through the vast majority of them. And uh, we are... We're holding, we're holding the line. Our boys refusing to go down. Annihilating the undead. They may be billions. Well, 7,000. Outnumbered 7 to 1. But, looks like we have the upper hands. I mean, it's almost the point where we've got even numbers. Just the sheer number of bodies littering the ground. Testament to the Grudge Bringer's killing power. I think this will probably be Kemmler dead. I don't know if he's got any other settlements. And I don't think any of these guys will survive the battle. And uh, you can see there's a bit of a rout happening here. Yep, units crumbling all over the place, including Kemmler and his necromancer lords. Well, we, we lost Ludwig. With any luck, he's just wounded. But we can restore. Apparently, we can only restore its black to those guys. How much money did we get for it? What did we get for it? I don't know. But I'm glad that we got that, whatever it was. And I'm glad that Kemla is dead. Because it kind of smelled a bit like we. Is he? He's just he's just wounded. He'll be back. He'll be back. It's fine. We got the local contract as well. Does it say what we got for that? Yes, my lord. Uh, if I have a look here, Iron Breakers maybe. Ready. Okay. Well, that's good. Look at that. Good old Belagar now has whatever the Grey Mountains. The Northern Grey Mountains. He got the Northern Grey Mountains under his control. Lucky boy. And I think we're going to go down and beat up Grom. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.